Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribi. First, the headlines. Gas explosion rocks Delta community. Three billion dollar oil thefts in Niger Delta. Criminal horrific Komola affair. EU envoys seek increase in gas supply from Nigeria. And now, the news in detail. A gas pipeline explosion has been reported in Mosoga along the Wari Benin Expressway in Ethiop West local government area of Delta State. The explosion, which reportedly shook the foundation of buildings in the community, was said to have occurred from a leaking gas pipeline, according to local sources. It was learned that many residents whose houses are not far from the pipeline abandoned their homes yesterday for fear of fire outbreak. Delta State Police Public Relations Officer DSP Bright Edafe confirmed the incident, saying the gas pipeline exploded as a result of leakage. Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, Mr. Gbenga Komolafe, yesterday described the massive theft of crude oil in the Niger Delta as criminal and horrific. Speaking on Arise Television, the NUPRC boss stated that while over $2 billion worth of oil was estimated to have been illegally siphoned in 2021, when added to the first quarter of 2022, it could have climbed beyond $3 billion. Recently, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emifele, who spoke at the end of the 284th Monetary Policy Committee MPC meeting in Abuja, blamed the trend of oil theft on the inability of Nigeria to meet its oil production quota. Describing the situation as unprecedented, he stated that your current had the debilitating effect on government revenue and accretion to reserves, adding that the global prices have gone up and are compounded by the shortage of supply of petroleum products. However, Kamalafe stated that it was not the duty of the Commission to secure government oil and gas assets, stressing that the organization does not regulate criminal activities. By rough estimates, the NUPRC had said that Nigeria lost more than one 115,000 barrels per day to oil theft and vandalism between January 2021 and February 2022. <music> European Union ambassadors in Nigeria yesterday visited the management of the Nigeria National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, seeking increase in the supply of gas from Nigeria to their continent. They harped on how to strengthen its partnership with Nigeria in the energy sector. NNPC Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Malam Garba Dean Mohammed, made this known in a statement. The EU ambassador to Nigeria, Samuela Isopi, said given the geopolitical situation in Europe, the continent was interested in strengthening its cooperation with Nigeria, particularly in the possible increase in the supplies of liquefied natural gas LNG. The GMD NNPC Limited Mala Mele Kiari assured the European delegation that the company would continue to deepen its historical relationship with EU companies in Nigeria to add more value to its business, particularly towards increasing gas supply to the global market and enhancing domestic gas utilization. shortage has returned to haunt motorists as uncertainties over the government-backed subsidy ahead of the monthly review of pump prices persist. 
oil dealers link the shortages to a lack of clarity on the fuel subsidy that the government introduced last April to stabilize prices amid suspicion of hardening. Delays in the payment of subsidies to the companies by the government have pushed up prices in the wholesale market where oil majors resell fuel to the smaller independent fuel retailers who control 40% of the market. This has seen the small retailers hesitate to buy the costly fuel with increased supply of oil majors unable to plug the deficit. The oil majors have also been cautious to increase supply, uncertain about whether the government would compensate them for fuel not used to calculate the monthly price adjustments which takes effect on April 15th and will stay in place for one month. In Nairobi, diesel and petrol prices are capped at 115 Kenyan shillings and 134 Kenyan shillings for the month to 15th April, the highest level in Kenya's history after the partial subsidy withdrawal. The sharp rise in fuel prices in the wake of the Russia-Ukraine war has triggered a rally in commodities like crude oil and crippled the subsidy scheme. <music> Algeria is set to overtake Russia as Italy's largest gas supplier thanks to a deal struck on Monday by Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi as Rome scrambles to replace Russian gas. Russia supplies about 40% of Italy's natural gas but the dependence is now seen as a danger following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Although the Prime Minister is highly committed to Italy's role as a close U.S. ally in NATO, Rome's long-standing reliance on Russia for hydrocarbons has tied Italy's hands when it comes to economic countermeasures against President Vladimir Putin. Under the deal between Algeria, Sonatrach and Italy's ENI, Algeria will send an additional 9 billion cubic meters of gas to Italy by next year and in 2024. In 2021, Italy imported approximately 29 billion cubic meters of gas from Russia and 22.5 billion cubic meters of gas from Algeria, according to Italy's Economic Development Ministry. If the deal is upheld, Algeria would replace Russia as Italy's top gas source by next year. Of Finance, Budget and National Planning Mrs. Zainab Ahmed has revealed the federal government would enforce recovery of 5.2 trillion naira debt owed by over 5,000 debtors through ministries, departments and agencies. The minister made the disclosure at the launching of the project's Lighthouse Debt Analytics and Reporting Platform in Abuja yesterday. Ahmed said that the discovery of the debt followed a 2019 finance circular directing all MDAs as well as federal government-owned enterprises FGOEs, to provide the government's credit portfolio in all such organizations. She revealed that 53.5 billion naira has been recovered in the last one and a half years, charging officials of federal government MDAs and FGOEs to cooperate with her ministry in order to make the exercise successful. 
Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. Gas explosion rocks Delta community. $3 billion oil theft in Niger Delta. Criminal, horrific, common affair. EU envoys seek increase in gas supply from Nigeria. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening.